Vanessa Redgrave, a name synonymous with acting royalty, was born on January 30, 1937, in London. The daughter of renowned stage actors Sir Michael Redgrave and Rachel Kempson, she embraced her family's legacy and became a formidable force in the film and theater industry. Throughout her illustrious career, Redgrave has graced both stage and screen with her undeniable talent. She made her professional stage debut in 1957 and her film debut in 1961. Over the years, she has appeared in numerous classic films, including Morgan, A Suitable Case for Treatment, Isadora, and Julia, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Redgrave's work extends beyond acting, as she is also a dedicated activist. She has been a prominent figure in various political and social movements, using her platform to advocate for peace, justice, and equality. Her contributions to the world of acting and activism have left an indelible mark on the industry and society at large. The actress's work continues to resonate with audiences, inspiring new generations of performers and activists alike. Vanessa Redgrave, a classic star, has graced both stage and screen for over six decades. You may have first recognized her in popular films like Mission Impossible or Atonement. When did you first notice this accomplished actress? Perhaps you discovered her earlier, in the 1960s, when she became a household name in the UK. Or maybe it was in the 70s, when her career took off in the US. No matter when it was, her impact is undeniable. Do you remember a particular film or performance that resonated with you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this iconic actress. Throughout her career, Vanessa Redgrave has left an indelible mark on the world of film and theater, from her early days on stage to her recent roles in television and film, she has captivated audiences with her talent and versatility. But there's so much more to her story. In this video, we'll explore some surprising facts about Vanessa Redgrave, from her personal life to her career highlights. You'll learn about her contributions to the arts, as well as some funny, shocking, and even sad moments from her life. So keep watching to discover more about this classic star. And don't forget to share your own memories and experiences with Vanessa Redgrave in the comments below. Born into a family of actors, Vanessa Redgrave's path to stardom was almost predestined. In 1937, her father, Michael Redgrave, an esteemed stage actor, and her mother, Rachel Kempson, a talented actress, founded the distinguished acting dynasty that would produce three generations of thespians. Raised in a household where the arts were highly valued, Redgrave's upbringing was steeped in the world of theater. Her parents' influence exposed her to classic plays and inspired her to pursue a career in acting from a young age. By the time she was 16, Redgrave had already made her professional stage debut in 1954, appearing in the play The Damask Cheek at the York Theatre Royal. Redgrave's early exposure to the craft was further enriched by her association with the Royal Shakespeare Company. She joined the RSC in 1961, where she honed her skills under the guidance of renowned directors and actors. During her time with the RSC, Redgrave starred in numerous productions, including As You Like It, The Taming of the Shrew, and Much Ado About Nothing. Throughout her career, Redgrave has credited several mentors with influencing her path. Among them is the esteemed director, Tony Richardson, who cast her in her first major film role in The Girl with Green Eyes. Richardson's innovative and daring approach to filmmaking encouraged Redgrave to push the boundaries of her craft and explore new artistic territories. Another significant influence on Redgrave's career was her collaboration with the legendary director, Sidney Lumet. Lumet directed Redgrave in the film The Seagull, an adaptation of the classic play by Anton Chekhov. Lumet's meticulous attention to detail and commitment to authenticity inspired Redgrave to approach her roles with greater depth and nuance. Redgrave's family and early experiences shaped her into the accomplished actress she is today. Her parents' influence, her association with the RSC, and her collaborations with influential directors like Richardson and Lumet have all contributed to her enduring legacy in the world of theater and film. Vanessa Redgrave, a name that resonates in the film industry, is an accomplished actress who has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Born in 1937, Redgrave hails from a family of thespians, with both her parents being prominent actors in their time. Redgrave's career spans over six decades, and she has made significant contributions to the film and theater industries. She has won numerous awards for her work, 
including an Academy Award, two Emmy Awards, a Tony Award, and a Golden Globe. The actress is known for her versatile roles in both classic and contemporary films. Her performances in movies such as Morgan, A Suitable Case for Treatment, Isadora, and Julia have earned her critical acclaim and a place in the annals of film history. Redgrave's work in theater is equally impressive. She has appeared in numerous stage productions, including The Aspern Papers, A Long Day's Journey Into Night, and Driving Miss Daisy. Her performances have earned her a reputation as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. In addition to her work in film and theater, Redgrave is also an activist and has used her platform to advocate for various social and political causes. She has been a vocal supporter of Palestinian rights and has been involved in several humanitarian efforts. Redgrave's impact on the film industry is undeniable. Her work has transcended generations, and she continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers today. Her legacy is a testament to her talent, dedication, and passion for the craft of acting. Vanessa Redgrave's passion for acting took root in her early years, influenced by her prominent theatrical family. Born in 1937, she was the daughter of Michael Redgrave, a well-known stage actor, and Rachel Kempson, a respected actress in her own right. The acting bug bit Redgrave at the age of 10 when she appeared in a school production of The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Her natural talent and enthusiasm were evident, and she continued to perform in school plays throughout her adolescence. Redgrave's first taste of professional success came in 1958 when she starred in the London production of A Touch of the Sun. Her performance caught the attention of critics and audiences alike, solidifying her determination to pursue a career in acting. In the early 1960s, she made her film debut in Behind the Mask and quickly became a sought-after actress in both film and theater. Throughout her career, Redgrave has been known for her commitment to her craft and her willingness to take on challenging roles. She has appeared in numerous classic films, including Blow Up, Isadora, and Julia, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her work on stage has been equally impressive, earning her numerous awards and nominations Redgrave's passion for acting has never waned, and she continues to work tirelessly in the industry. In recent years, she has taken on roles in television shows and documentaries, showcasing her versatility and dedication to her craft. Her commitment to social justice has also been a defining aspect of her career, and she has used her platform to advocate for various causes, including human rights and peace. In conclusion, Vanessa Redgrave's passion for acting was ignited in her childhood and has been fueled by a lifelong commitment to her craft. Her impressive body of work and dedication to social justice have cemented her place as a respected and beloved figure in the world of theater and film. In 1962, the actress became one of the first celebrities to visit communist Cuba. She portrayed Guinevere and Camelot and met Franco Nero during the film's production. They later had a child together and also co-starred in A Quiet Place in the Country and Letters to Juliet. In 1985, she received the London Evening Standard Theatre Award for Best Actor for her performance in The Seagull. Vanessa Redgrave, a renowned actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born into a family of actors, she was no stranger to the stage. However, financial struggles were a constant obstacle. To make ends meet, Redgrave worked multiple jobs, including as a theatre usher and a truck driver. Despite her family's acting background, Redgrave encountered skepticism from the industry. She was told that she would never make it as an actress due to her unconventional looks. But Redgrave was determined to prove them wrong. She honed her craft, studying at the Central School of Speech and Drama in London. Redgrave's resilience paid off, and she landed her first professional role in 1957. However, the challenges did not stop there. She faced criticism for her political activism which at times overshadowed her acting career. But Redgrave refused to be silenced, using her platform to speak out on issues she cared about. Throughout her career, Redgrave has found creative solutions to overcome obstacles. When she was denied a role due to her political beliefs, she started her own theater company. She has also taken on a variety of roles, from classical theater to modern film, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Redgrave's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and creativity. Despite facing financial struggles, industry skepticism, and criticism for her activism, 
she has built a lasting career as a respected actress. In 2003, Vanessa Redgrave's exceptional performance in the revival of Eugene O'Neill's Long Day's Journey into Night earned her Broadway's Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play. This classic play explores the struggles of a family grappling with addiction and personal demons, and Redgrave's portrayal of Mary Tyrone was widely praised for its depth and emotional intensity. Two years prior to this achievement, Redgrave and her sister, Lynn, graced the cover of Time magazine on March 17, 1967. The occasion marked their respective Oscar nominations for the films Morgan and Georgie Girl. The Redgrave sisters' contributions to the film industry were already well established at this point, and their influence would only continue to grow in the years to come. During a 2005 appearance on Larry King Live, Redgrave expressed her fondness for the movie Meet the Fockers. She even went so far as to say that the film should have won an Academy Award. While the film did not receive any nominations in the major categories, Redgrave's endorsement speaks to her appreciation for a wide range of cinematic styles and genres. Throughout her career, Vanessa Redgrave has consistently demonstrated her versatility and commitment to her craft. From her award-winning performances on stage and screen to her advocacy for social justice causes, Redgrave has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and beyond. Her contributions continue to resonate with audiences and inspire aspiring actors around the world. Vanessa Redgrave's career breakthrough came in 1961 with the film A Man for All Seasons. Her portrayal of Anne Boland showcased her ability to embody complex characters, earning her first BAFTA nomination. The actress once shared that this role allowed her to understand the fragility and strength of women in power. In 1966, Redgrave took on the lead role in Morgan, a suitable case for treatment, which gained critical acclaim and solidified her status as a serious actress. Director Carol Rise praised Redgrave for her fearless commitment to the role. The following year, Redgrave starred in the prime of Miss Jean Brody, garnering an Academy Award nomination. The film's director, Ronald Neem, noted that Redgrave's intense dedication brought depth to the character. In 1977, Redgrave produced and starred in Playing for Time, a TV film about a women's orchestra in a Nazi concentration camp. Despite controversy, Redgrave received an Emmy and a Golden Globe for her powerful performance. The actress's career continued to flourish with her role in the 1992 film Howard's End, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Co-star Emma Thompson described Redgrave's performance as heartbreakingly beautiful. Redgrave's work in theater has also been noteworthy. In 2003, she starred in The Year of Magical Thinking, a one-woman show that received rave reviews. Director David Hare noted Redgrave's extraordinary ability to connect with the audience. Throughout her career, Redgrave has consistently chosen challenging roles, pushing boundaries, and earning critical acclaim. Her contributions to the world of film and theater continue to resonate, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. In the world of film and theater, the Redgrave family is a prominent name, and Vanessa Redgrave is no exception. Both her father, Michael Redgrave, and her siblings, Corin Redgrave and Lynn Redgrave, have worked with director Sidney Lumet. Michael appeared in The Hill, Corin in The Deadly Affair, and Lynn in The Deadly Affair, and The Last of the Mobile Hot Shots. Vanessa collaborated with Lumet in The Seagull and Murder on the Orient Express. In 1959, Vanessa Redgrave was hailed as the toast of the Shakespeare season. Later, she was cast as Guinevere in the film adaptation of Camelot. Director Joshua Logan had been impressed by her performance in Morgan, where he found her to be a ravishing bitch, which he believed was perfect for the role of Guinevere. Logan's decision to cast Redgrave was further solidified when he met her in person in April 1966, finding her to be extraordinary to look at. Her vocal abilities were also confirmed when she played him a recording of the Pete Seeger anti-war anthem, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? At the time, Redgrave was starring in the play, The Prime of Miss Jean Brody during its Brighton tryout engagement. The play's successful West End opening, which led to a six-month run, caused a delay in the filming of Camelot. This prompted Warner Brothers studio head Jack L. Warner to express his frustration, referring to Redgrave as that tall communist dame. Despite this, Logan remained committed to casting her in the film. Vanessa Redgrave, a renowned actress, is known for her deep commitment to her roles and her unique approach to acting. She once stated, I'm an actress because I love to act. I've always wanted to be an actress. 
I love the process of creating a character. This passion for the craft is reflected in her meticulous preparation and immersion into each character she plays. Redgrave's artistic process often involves extensive research and a focus on understanding the character's motivations and emotions. She once mentioned, I think about the character's background, their relationships, and what has happened to them before the story begins. This approach allows her to create nuanced and authentic performances that resonate with audiences. The actress's worldview and personal experiences often find their way into her work. For instance, she has been a longtime activist for social justice and human rights, and these causes have influenced her choice of roles and her portrayal of characters. She once said, I believe that art should be a force for positive change in the world. One of Redgrave's most iconic roles in the film Julia showcases her ability to bring depth and complexity to characters with strong convictions. The film, set against the backdrop of World War II, tells the story of a woman who risked her life to fight fascism. Redgrave's portrayal of Julia, a character driven by her passion for justice, mirrors the actress's own convictions and activism. In conclusion, Vanessa Redgrave's artistic vision and process are characterized by her deep commitment to her craft, her meticulous preparation, and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. Her personal experiences and worldview inform her work adding an extra layer of authenticity and resonance. In 1988, Vanessa Redgrave received the London Critics Circle Theatre Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in A Touch of the Poet. The actress had already made a name for herself in film and theatre, including her portrayal of Guinevere in Camelot. Richard Harris, who sought the lead role, was particularly excited when he learned Redgrave would be his co-star. He even went as far as to commission a sign that read Harris better than Burton, only Harris for Camelot in an attempt to secure the part. When Redgrave was cast, Harris noted their height difference in a playful note to producer Jack L. Warner. Throughout her career, Redgrave has been a part of four films nominated for the Oscar Best Picture Award. These include A Man for All Seasons in 1966, Julia in 1977, Howard's End in 1992, and Atonement in 2007. A Man for All Seasons ultimately won the award that year. Redgrave's contributions to the film and theater world have been significant, and she continues to work on various projects. Her talent and dedication to her craft have earned her a place among the greats in the industry. With each new role, Redgrave continues to captivate audiences and leave her mark on the world of film and theater. Vanessa Redgrave, an actress of formidable talent, has left an indelible mark on the film and theater industry. With a career spanning over six decades, she has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. Redgrave's contribution to the industry is not limited to her acting skills alone. She has also been a strong advocate for social justice, using her platform to shed light on important issues. Redgrave's impact on the industry is evident in the trends she has set and the techniques she has popularized. Her ability to fully embody her characters, bringing them to life with depth and nuance, has inspired countless actors who have followed in her footsteps. As one industry expert put it, Redgrave's commitment to her craft is unparalleled. She has a unique ability to tap into the heart of a character, making them feel real and alive for audiences. The actress's influence can also be seen in the types of stories that are told on screen and stage. Redgrave has been a champion of stories that explore complex social and political issues, helping to pave the way for more nuanced and thought-provoking storytelling. Her work on films like Julia and Isadora showcase her ability to tackle challenging roles with grace and nuance. Redgrave's impact on the industry is also evident in the number of accolades she has received throughout her career. She has been nominated for six Academy Awards and has won one among numerous other awards and recognitions. Her work has been celebrated by critics and audiences alike, solidifying her place as a true icon of the industry. Those who have been inspired by Redgrave's work speak of her impact with reverence. One up-and-coming actress noted, Redgrave's work has been a guiding light for me. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters is something I strive for in my own work. In conclusion, Vanessa Redgrave's contribution to the film and theater industry is immeasurable. Her talent, dedication, and advocacy have set trends, influenced techniques, and inspired countless actors and audiences alike.
Her impact on the industry will continue to be felt for generations to come. In 2007, the actress Vanessa Redgrave won the Drama Desk Award for her solo performance in The Year of Magical Thinking, a play that also earned her a second Tony Award nomination for Best Actress. Redgrave's on-screen chemistry with husband-to-be Franco Nero was showcased in the 1999 film Uninvited, which marked the only time the couple were directed by their only son Carlo Gabriel Nero. In the classic film Julia, Redgrave played the role of Julia, a character who, ironically, could not sail. To film the sailing sequence, Gay Crossley, a local sailor, was brought in to assist. Crossley had to curl herself up under the low deck and give instructions to Redgrave and Jane Fonda on how to handle the tiller and trim the sails. Despite the challenges, Redgrave's performance in Julia was highly regarded, earning her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters has solidified her place as a respected and admired actress in the industry. Vanessa Redgrave, a renowned actress, is known for her commitment to social justice. She has been an active member of the Workers' Revolutionary Party and has participated in various protests and rallies. In 1977, she even financed and narrated a pro-Palestinian documentary, which led to controversy and criticism. However, Redgrave remained unbowed and continued to use her platform to advocate for marginalized communities. Redgrave's philanthropic efforts are equally impressive. She has been a longtime supporter of the Peace and Progress Party and has donated generously to various charities and causes. In 2003, she established the Vanessa Redgrave Foundation, which supports organizations that promote social justice, human rights, and environmental sustainability. The foundation has provided funding to numerous groups, including the Refugee Council, the Prisoners of Conscience Appeal Fund, and the Medical Foundation for the Care of Victims of Torture. Redgrave's personal values and interests have undoubtedly informed her work as an actress. She has often chosen roles that reflect her political beliefs and has used her platform to raise awareness about important social issues. In 1980, she starred in the film Against All Odds, which tells the story of a group of activists who oppose the construction of a nuclear power plant. Redgrave's character is a passionate environmentalist who fights tirelessly to protect her community from the dangers of nuclear energy. More recently, Redgrave starred in the Showtime series The Commons, which explores the complex ethical and moral issues surrounding climate change. Redgrave's character, a wealthy philanthropist, grapples with the consequences of her actions and the legacy she will leave behind. The show is a powerful reminder of the importance of taking action to address the climate crisis, and Redgrave's performance is a testament to her commitment to social justice. In conclusion, Vanessa Redgrave's life outside of her professional sphere is deeply intertwined with her values and interests. Her commitment to social justice and her philanthropic efforts are an integral part of her identity as an actress and as a person. Through her work, Redgrave has inspired countless individuals to take action and make a difference in the world. In 1999, the actress, Vanessa Redgrave, made headlines when she allegedly declined the esteemed British honor of Dame of the Order of the British Empire. Redgrave's film career began with her portrayal of Guinevere in Camelot, a role she secured after Joshua Logan saw her in Morgan. However, the actress was committed to a play in London, the prime of Miss Jean Brodie, and Logan had to wait several months to commence filming. In Girl, Interrupted, Redgrave delivered a powerful performance as Dr. Wick, earning her spot among four Oscar winners and one Oscar nominee in the cast. The film is a classic adaptation of Susanna Kaysen's memoir, showcasing the actress's ability to captivate audiences with her talent. Vanessa Redgrave, a highly respected actress, has left an indelible mark on the film and theater industry. With a career spanning over six decades, she has captivated audiences with her versatile performances and unwavering dedication. Redgrave's work has transcended time, resonating with generations of viewers and inspiring aspiring professionals. Throughout her career, Redgrave has been a strong advocate for social justice, using her platform to shed light on important issues. She has shown that artists have the power to create change and make a difference in the world. For those looking to follow in her footsteps, Redgrave offers valuable advice. She encourages aspiring actors to stay true to themselves and not be afraid to take risks. Always be authentic and don't be afraid to push boundaries, she says. 
The most rewarding experiences come from stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new. Redgrave also emphasizes the importance of staying informed and engaged in the world around us. As artists, we have a responsibility to use our voices to speak out against injustice and fight for what is right, she says. Stay informed, stay engaged, and never be afraid to use your platform for good. As for the future, Redgrave hopes to continue using her talents to make a difference in the world. I want to keep pushing myself and challenging myself to grow as an artist and as a person, she says. I want to continue using my platform to make a positive impact and inspire others to do the same. In conclusion, Vanessa Redgrave's legacy within the industry is one of authenticity, courage, and social responsibility. Her advice for aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, take risks, and use their talents to make a positive impact in the world. Vanessa Redgrave and her daughter Jolie Richardson both portrayed historical queens who met a tragic end. In the 1971 film Mary, Queen of Scots, Redgrave gave a powerful performance as the titular character who was executed by beheading. Years later, Richardson followed in her mother's footsteps, playing Marie Antoinette in the 2001 film The Affair of the Necklace, who also faced the same gruesome fate. In addition to her acting career, Redgrave was also a dedicated mother. She delivered her daughter Natasha Richardson via emergency caesarean section and breastfed her until she was nine months old. However, her road to motherhood was not without its challenges. After filming Mary, Queen of Scots, The Devils, and The Trojan Women in 1971, Redgrave suffered a miscarriage, losing a baby boy she was expecting with her partner Frank O'Neill. Despite the setbacks, Redgrave continued to excel in her career and personal life. Her ability to balance her roles both on and off screen is a testament to her strength and determination. Her impact on the film industry is undeniable and her legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. Redgrave's story is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one can still achieve greatness. Vanessa Redgrave's journey in the entertainment industry has been nothing short of passionate and innovative. Born in 1937, she made her stage debut in 1957 and quickly became known for her powerful performances and commitment to her craft. Over the years, she has taken on a wide range of roles, from Shakespearean tragedies to contemporary dramas, always bringing depth and nuance to her characters. Redgrave's work has transcended the boundaries of the entertainment industry, addressing social and political issues of the day. She has been a vocal activist for various causes, using her platform to raise awareness and promote change. Her passion and commitment have not only earned her critical acclaim, but also the respect and admiration of her peers and audiences alike. Throughout her career, Redgrave has consistently pushed the boundaries of what is possible in the entertainment industry. She has taken on challenging roles, experimented with new forms of storytelling, and remained committed to using her art to make a difference in the world. Redgrave's impact on the entertainment industry is enduring. She has inspired countless young actors and actresses, and her work continues to resonate with audiences today. Her legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance, a reminder that with passion and dedication, we can all make a lasting impact on the world around us. In 1949, at the age of 10, Vanessa Redgrave was assessed for the role of Emmeline in the Blue Lagoon, but was ultimately rejected. Her father, Michael Redgrave, was considered for the male lead in a Gainsborough production that never came to fruition due to World War II. Later, in 1959, Vanessa Redgrave was hailed as the toast of the Shakespeare season, solidifying her status as a talented actress. However, in 2010, after the death of her daughter, Redgrave had to drop out of Ridley Scott's Robin Hood, in which she had a supporting role. Eileen Atkins took over her part. This sudden withdrawal was a poignant reminder of the personal struggles that even the most accomplished actors can face. In the film Julia, Vanessa Redgrave delivers a standout performance alongside fellow Oscar winners Jane Fonda, Jason Robards, Maximilian Schell, and Meryl Streep, as well as nominee Hal Holbrook. Despite playing the title role, Redgrave's Oscar win came in the category of Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Redgrave's portrayal of Anne Boleyn in A Man for All Seasons and her depiction of Queen Elizabeth I and Anonymous showcase her range and versatility. Interestingly, her real-life daughter, Jolie Richardson, also played a younger version of Queen Elizabeth in Anonymous. 
Red Gray's ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters has earned her critical acclaim throughout her career. Her portrayal of Julia, while classified as a supporting role, remains a pivotal and memorable part of the film. In the film Camelot, Vanessa Redgrave gave a notable performance as Queen Guinevere. Interestingly, her brother, Corin Redgrave, also appeared in a different film adaptation of the King Arthur legend, Excalibur, where he played Lord Cornwall. Vanessa Redgrave's portrayal of Isadora Duncan in the film Isadora earned her a Best Actress Oscar nomination for depicting a labor and birth scene. She is one of 19 actresses to receive this recognition for such a performance, joining the ranks of Louise Reiner, Jane Wyman, and Eleanor Parker, among others. Redgrave's decision to star in Camelot was a significant one, as she turned down the lead role in Petulia to take on the part. Her husband, director Tony Richardson, advised her that Camelot would be a better career move for her, and it turned out to be a wise choice. In summary, Vanessa Redgrave's portrayal of Queen Guinevere in Camelot is just one example of her impressive acting career. Her Oscar nomination for Isadora further showcases her talent and versatility as an actress. By choosing to star in Camelot over Petulia, Redgrave made a strategic career decision that paid off. In the 1992 film Howard's End, Vanessa Redgrave took on the role of Ruth Wilcox, with her niece, Gemma Redgrave, playing her on-screen daughter, Evie Wilcox. This marked the only time the two have shared the screen, although they did appear together in a stage production of Chekhov's Three Sisters in 1990. In the classic musical Camelot, Vanessa Redgrave portrayed Guinevere. She had a unique approach to singing Take Me to the Fair, opting to change the setting, background, and costumes for every verse to illustrate the passage of time. Moving on to her personal life, Vanessa Redgrave was in a long-term relationship with former James Bond actor Timothy Dalton from 1971 to 1986. Their relationship, though now in the past, was a significant part of the actress's life. Vanessa Redgrave is no stranger to the world of film and theater. Her portrayal of Guinevere in the classic film Camelot is still remembered today. Two generations later, her family members continued to make their mark in the industry. Her daughter Natasha Richardson was once married to Robert Fox, who is the uncle of Amelia Fox. Amelia, in turn, was married to Jared Harris, son of Richard Harris, who played the original King Arthur in Camelot. In 2015, the actress faced a significant health scare. She suffered a near-fatal heart attack and was diagnosed with emphysema, which led her to quit smoking. The damage to her lungs is severe, with only 30% capacity remaining. Despite these challenges, Vanessa Redgrave's contributions to the industry have been recognized. Entertainment Weekly voted her as one of the 25 greatest actresses, a testament to her enduring impact on the film and theater world. Her work continues to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting mark on the industry's landscape. In the 1996 film Mission Impossible, Vanessa Redgrave starred as Max, alongside fellow Oscar winners John Voight and Anthony Hopkins, as well as Oscar nominees Tom Cruise and Kristen Scott Thomas. Redgrave's performance was highly regarded, earning her a nomination for the 1997 Lawrence Olivier Theatre Award for Best Actress in a play of 1996 for her role in John Gabriel Borkman. Redgrave's impressive career has included many notable performances, including her nominated role in the 1977 film Julia, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for playing the title role. This made her one of the few performers to be nominated in this category for playing the lead in a movie. In fact, as of 2013, she remains the only one to win. In addition to her work in film, Redgrave has also had a successful career in theater, with numerous notable performances to her name. Her talent and dedication to her craft have earned her a well-deserved reputation as one of the most respected and accomplished actresses of her generation. In the film Julia, the actress, Vanessa Redgrave, gave a powerful performance in the title role. Initially, director Fred Zinnemann had sought an American actress for the part, but after working with Redgrave a decade earlier on A Man for All Seasons, he knew she was the right choice. Redgrave's talent and dedication to her craft have been recognized with various accolades. In 1967, she was made a CBE in the Queen's Birthday Honors list for her services to drama. However, she later expressed regret for accepting this honor and is believed to have declined the offer of a damehood in 1999. Nonetheless, she accepted the honor when it was offered to her again over two decades later. 
The actress's passion for social justice extends beyond her career in film and theater. She has started her own political party in the UK, focused on human rights violations called the Peace and Progress Party. This party will field candidates in the next British general election. Throughout her career, Redgrave has been a force to be reckoned with, using her platform to advocate for change and make a difference in the world. Vanessa Redgrave, a renowned actress, shares a connection to the film industry beyond her on-screen roles. She is the former mother-in-law of Tim Bevan, a co-producer at Working Title Films. Redgrave's impact in the film industry extends to her daughter, Jolie Richardson, with whom she shared the screen in the 2011 film Anonymous. In this movie, both mother and daughter portrayed Queen Elizabeth I, showcasing their acting prowess. In the 1976 film The 7% Solution, Redgrave took on the character of Lola Devereaux, described as an Irish charlatan's daughter in the opening credits. The character's private life was said to be detailed in the private correspondence of Clemenceau, adding an intriguing layer to her persona. This classic film further highlights Redgrave's ability to bring depth and nuance to her roles. Vanessa Redgrave, a longtime member of Britain's Workers' Revolutionary Party, made a significant impact in the world of film and theatre. In the summer of 2005, she even spoke at the Scottish Parliament. One of her notable roles was as Guinevere in the film adaptation of Camelot. The original stage production featured Julie Andrews as Guinevere, but she couldn't reprise her role due to her growing popularity as a film star. Ironically, Jack L. Warner, who produced Camelot, had also cast Audrey Hepburn as Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady instead of Julie Andrews. Warner later apologized to Andrews, and the two became good friends. Despite Andrews' initial involvement in Camelot, the director, Joshua Logan, ultimately chose Vanessa Redgrave for the role. Redgrave's portrayal of Guinevere became a classic moment in film history, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. In the end, Redgrave's performance in Camelot was a significant moment in her career, demonstrating her ability to bring depth and nuance to iconic roles. Her contributions to the world of film and theater continue to resonate with audiences today. In the film A Man for All Seasons, Vanessa Redgrave took on the role of Anne Boleyn without accepting any payment. This decision showcased her dedication to her craft and her passion for the story. Later, in the movie Julia, Redgrave was chosen for the lead role over Meryl Streep, who was still a relatively unknown actress at the time. Despite Streep's potential, Redgrave's experience and talent won her the part. Redgrave is also a proud grandmother of five. Her family is an essential part of her life, and she values the time she spends with them. Throughout her career, Vanessa Redgrave has consistently demonstrated her commitment to her art and her family, making her a respected and admired figure in the industry. In 1966, Vanessa Redgrave was offered the role of Margaret Moore in the film A Man for All Seasons, but she declined due to her theater commitments. She chose to play a cameo role as Anne Bolin instead with Susanna York taking on the part of Margaret Moore. The actress later made her Broadway debut in Long Day's Journey Into Night. In the film Camelot, she portrayed Guinevere and sang the simple joys of maidenhood. However, she demanded changes to the lyrics that glorified war, reflecting her political beliefs. In the film Deep Impact, Vanessa Redgrave starred as Robin Lerner alongside other esteemed actors, all of whom have been recognized by the Academy, with the exception of James Cromwell. Redgrave's training in acting began at the Central School for Speech and Drama in London, and she later became a member of the Stratford-upon-Avon Theatre Company in 1959. The actress also played the role of Ruth Wilcox in Howard's End, a character originally written by M. Forster, a closeted homosexual author. This story was later reimagined by playwright Matthew Lopez in The Inheritance, where most of the characters were changed to gay men living in New York in the late 20th and early 21st century. In a later production of The Inheritance, Tony Goldwyn joined the cast as Henry Wilcox, who had been portrayed by Anthony Hopkins in the film adaptation of Howard's End. Goldwyn and Hopkins had previously appeared together in the film Nixon in 1995. Redgrave's portrayal of Margaret, the only female character in The Inheritance, earned her a role in the London cast, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Vanessa Redgrave received a Tony Award nomination in 27 for her role in The Year of Magical Thinking, which was staged in New York City. Her performance in this drama showcased her exceptional talent and dedication. 
Redgrave's portrayal of Jean Brody in the prime of Miss Jean Brody earned her rave reviews and won her the London Evening Standard Award. Her unforgettable performance as the unorthodox teacher in this classic show remains a favorite among audiences and critics alike. Furthermore, Redgrave has earned the admiration of her peers, including actress Susan Sarandon, who has publicly expressed her admiration for Redgrave's work. Overall, Vanessa Redgrave's contributions to the world of drama have been significant and enduring, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and fellow actors alike. During her acceptance speech for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar in 1978, Vanessa Redgrave expressed her views on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, leading to backlash from the Jewish Defense League. The actress had been recognized for her role in the film Julia, where she starred alongside Jane Fonda, another actress known for her political activism. Initially, both Fonda and Redgrave were not the producer's top choices due to their outspoken political beliefs. However, they were eventually cast and the film became a critical and commercial success. Years later, in 2003, Redgrave played a motherly role to her real-life daughter, Jolie Richardson, in the TV show Nip Tuck. The actress's career has spanned over five decades, and she has become known for her willingness to take on politically charged roles and express her opinions, even in the face of controversy. Her dedication to her craft and her convictions has made her a respected figure in both the film industry and the world of political activism. In 1967, both Vanessa Redgrave and her sister, Lynn Redgrave, were nominated for the Best Actress Academy Award. Vanessa was nominated for her performance in Morgan, while Lynn was nominated for Georgie Girl. However, they both lost to Elizabeth Taylor, who won for her role in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. During the period from March 2009 to May 2010, Vanessa Redgrave experienced a series of heartbreaking losses. She lost her daughter, Natasha Richardson, as well as her younger brother and sister, Corin Redgrave and Lynn Redgrave. Tragically, Corin and Lynn passed away within a month of each other. As of 2016, Vanessa Redgrave holds the distinction of being the 10th earliest surviving recipient of a Best Actress Oscar nomination. She shares this position with Anouk Ami and is preceded only by Olivia de Havilland, Leslie Caron, Carol Baker, Joanne Woodward, Shirley MacLaine, Doris Day, Piper Laurie, and Sophia Loren, Julie Andrews, and a tied pair of Julie Christie and Samantha Egger. Vanessa Redgrave came close to playing Serena Alexandra in the 1971 film Nicholas and Alexandra, but Janet Sussman was ultimately cast for the role. Interestingly, Redgrave's father, Michael Redgrave, played Sergei Sazanov in the same film. The actress's exceptional talent was also recognized by Katherine Hepburn, who, after working with her on The Trojan Women in 1971, expressed her admiration for Redgrave, stating that she was a thrill to look at and to listen to. Over the years, Vanessa Redgrave's contributions to the world of drama have been significant. In the 2022 Queen's New Year Honors list, she was made a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire for her services to drama. This recognition underscores her lasting impact on the industry and the enduring legacy she has Billy Tennant as the actress continues to grace the stage and screen. Her talent and dedication remain an inspiration to many, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of theater and film history. The entertainment world eagerly anticipates what lies ahead for this classic actress. In the film Howard's End, Vanessa Redgrave takes on the role of Ruth Wilcox, joining a cast of esteemed actors all of whom have been recognized by the Academy. Among them are Sir Anthony Hopkins, Dame Emma Thompson, Helena Bonham Carter, and Redgrave herself, who have each earned at least one Oscar. Redgrave holds a unique place in the annals of film history as the first performer to win two individual acting awards at the Cannes Festival. While Dean Stockwell had previously won two awards at the festival, he shared both of them with his co-stars. Moreover, Redgrave and her family have left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her mother, Rachel Kempson, and her two younger siblings, Corin Redgrave and Lynn Redgrave, have all appeared in films that won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Rachel appeared in Tom Jones and Out of Africa, while Lynn also appeared in Tom Jones. Vanessa and Corin both appeared in A Man for All Seasons. This classic film, Howard's End, and the impressive career of Vanessa Redgrave serve as a reminder of the enduring impact that talented actors can have on the world of cinema. Vanessa Redgrave is mentioned in the song Jam and Me by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, along with Joe Piscopo and Eddie Murphy. 
The actress has shared the screen with her mother Rachel Kempson in The Charge of the Light Brigade and Deja Vu, as well as her father Michael Redgrave and O. Oh, what a lovely war. In addition, Redgrave is one of nine actresses who have received an Academy Award nomination for portraying a real-life queen. Norma Shearer was the first to receive this recognition for her role as Marie Antoinette in 1938. Catherine Hepburn followed with her nomination for The Lion in Winter in 1968, and Genevieve Bujold received a nod for Anne of the Thousand Days in 1969. Janet Sussman was nominated for her portrayal of Alexandra in Nicholas and Alexandra in 1971. Helen Mirren received two nominations for playing a queen, one for The Madness of King George in 1994, and another for the Queen in 2006. Judy Dench was nominated for her role as Queen Victoria in Mistress Brown in 1997 and as Queen Elizabeth in Shakespeare in Love in 1998. Kate Blanchett received nominations for her portrayals of Queen Elizabeth I and Elizabeth in 1998 and Elizabeth the Golden Age in 2007. Finally, Helena Bonham Carter was nominated for her role as Queen Elizabeth in The King's Speech in 2010. Redgrave received her nomination for playing Mary, Queen of Scots and Mary, Queen of Scots in 1972. Vanessa Redgrave, the esteemed actress, took on the role of a mother to her real-life niece, Gemma Redgrave, in the 1992 film Howard's End. Her portrayal was highly acclaimed, showcasing her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters. In 1978, Redgrave won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in Julia, becoming the 80th actress to receive this prestigious award. The film, Julia, was released in 1977, and the Academy Awards ceremony took place on April 3, 1978, during the 50th Annual Academy Awards. Redgrave's beauty is not only skin deep, it transcends time. In 2006, People Magazine recognized her as one of the 100 most beautiful people, highlighting her timeless elegance and grace. This recognition is a testament to her enduring appeal and her ability to captivate audiences both on and off the screen. When the director David Hare and producers of The Year of Magical Thinking considered who could take on the emotional depth of the character, only one actress came to mind, Vanessa Redgrave. They believed that her range was unmatched. Redgrave is one of 17 actresses to achieve the triple crown of acting, having won an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony. She shares this distinction with Helen Hayes, Ingrid Bergman, Shirley Booth, Liza Minnelli, Rita Moreno, Maureen Stapleton, Jessica Tandy, Audrey Hepburn, Anne Bancroft, Maggie Smith, Ellen Burstyn, Helen Mirren, Frances McDormand, Jessica Lange, Viola Davis, and Glenda Jackson. In her personal life, Vanessa Redgrave has also shown great strength. Despite facing long and challenging labors, she was able to deliver her children Jolie Richardson and Carlo Gabriel Nero naturally. Indeed, Redgrave's career and personal life are both marked by determination and resilience. Her ability to bring depth and emotion to her roles has earned her a place among the great actresses of our time. Vanessa Redgrave's portrayal of Ruth Wilcox in the film Howard's End showcases her talent and versatility as an actress. Early in his career, her former husband and director Tony Richardson's production of Hamlet featured a young Anthony Hopkins as Claudius. In addition to her work in film, Redgrave has also made headlines for her political views. In 2004, she appeared on BBC News 24 Breakfast and sparked controversy by stating that the massacre of Russian school children by Chechen guerrillas was not an act of terrorism. Despite the attention brought by her political views, Redgrave's true passion lies in her work on stage. She has stated that her favorite role was Rosalind in As You Like It. Throughout her career, Redgrave has proven herself to be a dedicated and talented actress, unafraid to tackle complex roles and express her opinions on important issues. Her contributions to the world of film and theater continue to resonate with audiences today. Vanessa Redgrave's acting career has been marked by a variety of notable roles and performances. For instance, she played Guinevere in the film Camelot, where a playful altercation between her co-star David Hemmings and Richard Harris led to a physical fight, causing Redgrave to burst into tears and vow never to work with Harris again. In addition to her film work, Redgrave has also made significant contributions to theater. She was awarded the Lawrence Olivier Theatre Award in 1985 for her performance in the Aspern Papers, a play based on Henry James' novella of the same name. Interestingly, Redgrave was also considered for the role of Alice in Disney's animated classic Alice in Wonderland. 
She had been selected by Walt Disney himself to serve as a live reference model for the character. However, her parents refused to let her travel to the United States for the filming due to her sleepwalking habit, and the role ultimately went to Catherine Beaumont. Despite this early setback, Redgrave's career continued to flourish, and she became known for her powerful and emotive performances on both stage and screen. Her talent and dedication have earned her numerous accolades and a place among the most respected actors of her generation. As one of the most celebrated actresses of our time, Vanessa Redgrave has left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. With a career spanning over six decades, she has captivated audiences with her powerful performances and dedication to her craft. Redgrave's work has transcended generations, with classic films like Blow Up and Julia still resonating with audiences today. She has also made a name for herself on the small screen, with standout performances in shows like Nip Tuck and Call the Midwife. But it's not just her talent on screen that has earned Redgrave such admiration. She is also known for her activism and dedication to social causes, using her platform to make a difference in the world. As we celebrate Vanessa Redgrave's incredible career, we want to hear from you. What are your favorite films or performances of hers? How has she inspired you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy this content, please like and share it with your friend and family. Be sure to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.